Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. As you can see, there's a comment there about uh, somebody talking about a spousal visa or a fiancé visa to get somebody over from the Philippines saying it's taking 14 to 16 months, his attorney told him. So as far as the timeline, this is current timeline to bring somebody over from the Philippines. I've been married to a woman from the Philippines since 2015, and at that time, I believe people were saying six to uh, to nine months, pretty much whether it was a fiance or a spousal. And at that time it took us, it could have taken us six and a half months. Now we waited a little bit longer so my wife go, could go to a wedding before she left the Philippines, but we could have gotten done in about six and a half months where she had her uh, got her paperwork in. Uh, that's called uh, priority date. And then you get the word that you know, you've got the interview coming up. And so that was just about, you know, six months, almost exactly from, um, was it June to December or something, early June, early December. So anyway, it is taking longer now. Why? Most likely because of all of the um, migration or illegal immigration, however you want to look at it, for the United States. And so it is taking longer because I have heard from someone that knows someone that used to work in USCIS that these um, the illegals are getting prior prioritized over anyone else who has been waiting and doing it the right way, like this person is trying to do, like I did with my wife back in 2015. And so unfortunately, you might want to just brace for this process taking a little bit longer than you might have been expecting. So this uh, man is saying, his attorney is saying 14 to 16 months. Um, that's longer than it, it used to be. And I want to hear people's experiences. Have you been going through this process? Oh, let's say the last three, four, five, six months. What are your expectations? What were you told? Um, do you have an attorney? Do you not have an attorney? Is this taking longer? I'd like to hear more people's experiences about this. What I did back in 2015, I, I paid an agent who has done hundreds of um, uh, via, fiance and spousal visas to get Filipinos over to different countries. And um, we were well prepared. In fact, I knew when I went to visit her for the first time that we were going to get married. And so what I did was I started filling out some things on PDF form before I even left to meet her for the first time. And that was to save time. So I had a good idea of, he gave me a good idea of the whole process and the fees and what we could get done right away, filling out forms in her um, new married name, um, making sure it was correct, making sure we, we understood the forms and where she was from and what she would need so that when I got there, we'd be ready to get married in 10 days, which we did. And so she needed, um, she needed to go to this uh, uh, co commission for uh, Filipinos overseas. Now, I'm not sure exactly when that fits in. I think she needs to do that before she can leave. But what I needed was to show that I had been to the Philippines and I had left the Philippines, some kind of sticker on my passport. I needed that. And once I got back and could just make a screenshot of that, I had everything I needed for stage one. So that's just an idea to help save some time if you're doing it yourself or doing it with somebody else. You're really sure you're going to get married. For example, in my case, spousal visa. Start your paperwork ahead of time. That would save time, especially now, because as I heard, and this person here is verifying, he's being told it's going to take longer now for a visa for your Filipina. Uh, tourist visas, almost impossible to get to the United States. They can be gotten to other countries, but the United States might as well forget it. She would have to have significant assets. So if you're looking for a fiancé visa, spousal visa, don't drag your feet. Do everything you can as fast as you can, as hard as you can, because it's going to take a little bit longer. Don't let this discourage you from finding a Filipina. If there's somebody you're serious about, but you haven't really thought about how long it's going to take. Yes, it's going to take a while before you're together. You may be husband and wife, and you might not go see her before you get married because of costs and everything. But if you don't, it could be 
you know, 12, 14, 16 months before you get to see her. That's if everything was filled out properly and you got it in to the government. So let me know what you think about this. If you're disappointed, if that's it's no big deal, you're not in a hurry or that's what you kind of expected anyway. I think this is not a great thing because it's taking longer than it has to do. You know, and people that are wanting to do it legally and, and getting um, tested for infectious diseases and uh, NBI, uh, police check and all of the works, you know, they're going to be taking longer now from others that just took the invitation to show up at the border. And um, that's not something I am very happy about. And if you're looking to get married to a woman from the Philippines or you already did and you're waiting for her, uh, just be prepared. It may take longer than you were expecting.